Hi everyone, this is Caitlin the Love Librarian and today I'm doing a crop recommendation for the age gap but make it older women, younger man. Now, typically when you see age gap, it is typically the um older like guy and for whatever reason, when I like see people talking about like older women, younger man age gap, it gets so much hate and I don't know like what people have against the woman being the older person in the relationship. But I quite like the like different dynamic and like viewpoint it brings to like age gap. I'm so used to seeing like the guy be the oldest all the time. And it's it's nice to see the dynamic that like it brings where the woman is kind of not in the position of power, but like she's the older one. And then typically what I see with older women, younger men romances is that the guy honestly is just as mature, if not more than the woman sometimes. And age is like simply the defining factor. And it's usually the woman who has to like get it out of her head that, oh my gosh, I'm too old for him. And it's like, no girl, mm -mm. you can have him. You can have a little fun. So I think I started reading these like last year and one of the first, um, older women, younger men, like age gaps I've done. It was Washed Up by Candy Steiner. And I want to say this was my first like Candy Steiner book period. Um, but I fell in love with her writing after this. And so Washed Up is about um, Greg and Amanda. And it's kind of forbidden because he is her son's like high school best friend. And um, obviously he's all grown up now. But they shared a kiss when he was younger. I think he's a few years older than like her son was at the time. So he had started college. So he was over 18. And one night she was crying or whatever about like her ex-husband because he's abusive. Um, and he, I think they just like share a moment. I think they share a kiss and then like years go by and they reconnect in the hospital because he's an anesthesiologist and she's in a car accident. And so they reconnect after that. and just those old feelings start stirring but she's dealing with a lot of um self-esteem issues because at this point like it's a time jump at this point you know he's obviously gone through medical school and everything like that and they're all older and so age is no longer a number but in her head she is kind of fresh off of like her divorce or i think she might still be on the tail end of her divorce like legally married but the point is she is still kind of like reeling from that and then you know the ex-husband makes a few appearances that you can see exactly how he treats her and like talks to her so she's kind of going through that and she just wants to know like what the heck he wants with her as like this older woman but like he he's always had a crush on her like since he was that age and so like the forbidden aspect of it I guess is other than that being an age gap I guess obviously her son's not going to be happy about it when he finds out that you know one of his best friends is um having a good time with his mom and this is actually a part of a series I think um like four authors they did like a collaboration um in like the Bayside Heroes series and it's like each one was a medical like person and none of them they're back there but none of the other ones fit this trope but um I recommend them all but yes this was one of my first older woman younger man and this was the first like time I realized I think I kind of like it so highly recommend this the next one I want to recommend is The Pool Boy by Nikki Sloan. This is like a good old traditional older woman younger man romance and it literally says what it says. I think it's between Erica and the guy's name is Troy. And Troy is her pool boy. And his mom is best friends with the heroine Erica. And so at the beginning of the book, Erica was married, but she catches her husband cheating with another man. <sighs> So there's that. So they get divorced. And Erica's like in her prime. I want to say she was in maybe in her 40s, if not her 40s, her late 30s. And she's kind of in her prime and she's just kind of starting over or whatever. And um, Troy is in his mid-20s. He may be 24, 25. I marked what the age difference like was. But she definitely was... Hmm. How old was she? Yes, she's 42, and I want to say he's like 20, he's 24, 25, but the point is, um, he's always had a, a thing for her since he was like 18, 19, or whatever, and, um, one day he's cleaning the pool and he doesn't realize she's home early from work and she is sunbathing topless, so he's, he's he gets a little show, 
and that leads to some um hanky panky foreplay in the pool house and she feels like horrible because he, she's best friends with his mom so there's that and Nikki Sloan writes some good spice, some good steam, but this one was a lot, like I obviously tabbed a little bit, this one was a lot deeper than I thought it would be, um, because also kind of like that back narrative is that she also, the heroine is in like the music production industry, and so she's always like scouting talent and things of that nature, and Troy is trying to get on the scene, but he's not doesn't have a lot of faith in himself because like his dreams have been crushed before in the past and his dad is pressuring him to take over his construction business which he has no passion for so I liked that aspect of um it actually having a plot in addition to steam but also like Erica you know encouraging him like I think she heard him play like once or twice and she's like you have real talent and you know he just needed somebody to believe in him so I liked that addition to the story as well so this is also a, a great recommendation for this type of age gap the next one I want to talk about is Through His Eyes by Nikki Ash this was also my first book by this author as well um and if you don't know Nikki Ash tends to write a lot of like single parent single um like surprise pregnancy surprise baby things um but I have definitely been working my way through her backlist but Through His Eyes is Lachlan and Quinn's story and with through his eyes what happens is in the beginning uh Quinn is married and quickly becomes a widow within like the first or two like second chapters her husband dies um plot twist you're not gonna feel sorry for that man at all but he dies and she finds out afterwards that she's pregnant and so they do like a little time jump and like her daughter's like six or seven now and her brothers, this is like a standalone in a series. So like her brothers have gotten books, but you didn't need to read them to understand this book. Her brothers own a tattoo shop and she shows up at the shop one day to uh, drop her daughter off for like with her brother. And this guy Lachlan is manning the front desk. And for him, it was basically like lust at first sight. Like he was digging her. And she's just kind of like, you know, like she's not interested in dating. But they, it, it's insta-lovey in the fact that, you know, they interact a few more times and, you know, start to feel each other. And she kind of lets herself just have, you know, that, that love and affection she'd been looking for that she was not getting with her now dead husband. And I liked, um, I liked Lachlan's relationship with her daughter. So this, this was an interesting dynamic. And the, the, the age thing was, I think it bothered, it definitely bothered Quinn more than it bothered Lachlan. Lachlan did not care that she was older. He was like, uh, and that was the, like, when you read the book, you understand why it's called Through His Eyes. Because it's just, oh, he's like, you know, I just, uh, it basically is like along the gist of like, I wish you could see me, like, see what I see through my eyes. Like, Lachlan's like, I see beauty. Uh, I see a, a woman deserving of all my affections. And literally age does not matter and I loved that so this one was absolutely like forgot to say that all of these that I'm recommending were five stars for me so there's that but I highly recommend this one the next age gap I have is Lessons in Corruption by Gianna Darling and this is book one in the Fallen Men series and this is between King and Cressida or we call her Cress and um Cressida is also married in the beginning of this book in a very lackluster long-term marriage she's been in since she was basically 18 with this old ass dude and um the marriage isn't what she wants and so she sees King one day across like the parking lot at the grocery store and I think seeing him and having like that split second connection with him made her realize well like I'm not about to cheat on my husband but like I definitely don't want him anymore and there's better out there for me so she goes home and decides to leave her husband and she sees King at a bar one day while she's out with friends. She's a teacher. So she sees him when she's out and they go for a ride, kind of talk a little bit. He kind of sweeps her off her feet, have a first kiss and everything like that. And a couple weeks later, she is in class and one of her latecomer students comes in. And who is it? None other than King. So King's like, and this one is not even that big of an age gap. Like he's 18 and Cress is like 25, 26 or something like that. But you know, on top of the age gap, she's concerned that she's his teacher and she rightfully so should be concerned. And you know, she's also been like this goody two shoes and her husband never really let her do anything. Her families are prudes. So she goes from being like, like this you know headband wearing like you know ass caught to um 
like motorcycle like leather jackets with king and his family and i i really like like i this one i did not like as much the first time around but when i reread it i fell more in love with king and Cress and just understanding more of where like cressida came from and like her background and i just forgot how much of a romantic king was so cressida definitely loosened up a little more and king honestly he's 18 but he acts like he's 30 and that was another thing i liked about that one it's like king honestly at a lot of points in this book acted like the older person so that's it's it truly age is is nothing but a number sometimes like we all want it to be legal but sometimes age is nothing but a number when it comes to like these age gaps because half the time one of them acts more mature than the other we see it all the time in older men younger like woman half the time the woman acts more mature than the guy so yes highly recommend this and every other book in this series i think if there's six so far book seven comes out this month I think my next one will be Disgrace by Brittany Cherry. And this one is between, I think, Grace and Jackson. And I seem to have a reoccurring theme here because Grace was also married in the beginning of this book. But it actually starts with her and her husband have already gone through a divorce and they're both moving back to their small town. So they're packing up everything, they're packing all their shit, and they're going home. And Grace is back living, I think, temporarily with either her parents or her sister and just trying to get back on her feet because emotionally I think she um I think the husband cheated on her and then it comes out that the cheating was worse than she thought but you'll find that out if you read this and then also we learned that she had some like fertility issues that were also kind of like a, a point of contention in her relationship so she's just wanting to start over and Jackson is basically like the town pariah because of some issues with his dad like his dad is like the town drunk and so as a result I think when he was younger um, Jackson got bullied, his mom died, and Jackson just has a lot going on. And these two kind of hate each other at first, Jackson more so than Grace, because I think her car breaks down or something like that. And Jackson just has all these walls up that his first initial thing is to push you away and be rude as fuck. So it was interesting seeing them go from enemies to friends to lovers because you know grace just wants to start over and just kind of have like a little summer fling and so does jackson because he doesn't have a lot of options it's not that he doesn't have a lot of options he very much is like a man whore in this book at the beginning because all the like proper women in this small southern town like he says want to take a ride with jackson cheat on their husbands with jackson but nobody wants to see be seen with jackson in public and so i i quite like the dynamic of this book i read it in one sitting it was beautiful in this um it's not the original cover this was from um the hello lovely box last year i think she was one of their featured authors so i really enjoyed this one and then the last one i want to recommend is the forbidden man by karina halley and i really loved this one this one is basically i don't know what it is with all these damn divorced chicks like maybe i'm internalizing some shit because i'm divorced but not I'm not gonna say not really but honestly they're just good so with this one um her name is I think Talia and Alejo is the hero and Talia is coming off of a very public divorce because she's a like sports physical therapist and her husband was like the coach of a an English like football so soccer team and so she just wants a fresh start because I think she was a physical therapist on the team her husband coached for and so she gets that fresh start by moving to Spain and becoming I think one of their only female physical therapists I want to say she was the only female don't quote me on that but I think she was on the one of Spain's like most popular um football teams and there she meets I think Aleo is one of like their star players and I think Aleo like set sights on her and he's like immediately fascinated from the beginning and Talia is as well when she sees him because whatever she was not getting what she needed in her last marriage <laughs> um so I, I just liked their their chemistry I like the build up. I think the like their conflict towards the end, it was realistic. It does have that third act breakup, but not because of like miscommunication or anything like that. They just had some real serious issues to work through because I think there's an actual rule that was saying that the physical therapist could not date the players. So it really was like forbidden. Um, And she was at risk of losing her job more so than he was because they're not going to get rid of their star football player. So I, I really enjoyed this. I like Karina Halley's writing. Um, it's just it was easy to sink into and I think it's a good start if you want to try oh, like the older woman, younger man trope. So yes, 
those are my recommendations for that trope. If you want to leave a link down below, letting me know if you're interested, um, a link, leave a comment down below, letting me know if you're interested in any of these, if you've read any of these, or if you have any other older women, younger men recommendations that you want to let me know, because I'm always looking for more. So please check these out. Be a cougar in your next life and have a great day.